The following podcast has been rated R. You've been warned. Welcome to the greatest DC Legends podcast in human history. Well, okay, maybe not. But stick around anyway, because we're about to have some fun. You know me, I'm the A.B., and along with the All-Stars, we'll talk DCL, superheroes, comic book lore, and everything else in between. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Atlantis After Dark. Hello, hello, and welcome to our humble little podcast. We only have good things in store for you today. We have another guest with us. That should be a lot of fun. We'll be covering raids, which you can totally check out our raid essentials list on our website, atlantisafterdark.com, shameless plug. We even have another people's court for you guys. I'll tell you what, I'm already ready to go already. You are too. So I'll, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Let's meet today's All-Stars. First up, our resident Slug Force superstar. His wife likes to talk to him during sex. In fact, just the other night, she called him from a hotel. It's the Italian <laughs> podcasters. <laughs> Shit. All right. That was pretty rude. It's the Italian BMT of podcasters, Black Flash. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, taking fire. Taking fire. Uh, <laughs> wow. Like, wow. Hey, 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 man. Oh, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, I was I, I was going to be mean. I was going to be like, I told her not to call, but. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. But Brett's even that, fired not, up today. I know. <laughs> I, I did mean it, buddy. I was just, I just popped in my head. I was going like, man, I could really have a shot right there. <laughs> oh, man. Man. Somebody's got to. It's the holiday season, eh? <laughs> I know. I was going to say he needs to lighten up on the stuffing, apparently. You know, deed on that stuff. Oh, oh, oh damn. <laughs> He's on a sugar rush, people. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, happy welcome to the everybody. show. Thanks for Thank having you, me. Thanks for coming, buddy. All right. Next up, he's the Sorcerer Supreme of Cyberspace. He tells me that he always picks the cashier at the supermarket who's most likely to have sex with him. Somehow, he always winds up in self-checkout. It's Retmus. <laughs> What's happening, Big Kahuna? Oh, Sable and Sable, buddy. It's great to be here. Hey, at least that person will never let you down, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Nobody nobody does it as good as I do. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right. And last but certainly not least, we have a special guest on the panel today. This guy always worries that when a woman sees him naked for the first time, She's just going to scream and run out of the park. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please give a warm double AD welcome yep. to the man with a master plan and perhaps the best DCL show on YouTube, the incomparable Tootie Tron. Welcome to the show uh -oh. finally, bud. Hello. Thank you for having Hi. me. All right. I definitely do take my pants off in the park every now and again, but that's between <laughs> you and me. Nice. There's only one way to go. It's, it's the official bird watching outfit of perverts everywhere. Exactly. How you, yeah. you gotta feed them somehow. I know. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. well. Wow. Welcome, one and all. <laughs> We're glad to have you all on with us today. Um, just really quick, there are only two days left in November, and you know what that means. If you haven't gotten your mustache ride shirt yet. You need to get it because your window of opportunity is closing in. And as is your window of opportunity to do something good for charity. That's right. If you missed out on the Black Friday sale event, that was 25% off. Then you missed it. I'm really, really sorry. But you can still donate to noshave.org for the next two days. Get yourself a teddy bear. Get yourself a shirt. Do it, people. 
We've already had a few orders. You guys know that, right? We've had, oh, uh, in fact, deal. we've had a, nice. a number of orders. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Bad. I know. We're almost up to 50 whole dollars. 50 whole dollars well, in you. profits. I know. I know. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I know. And if it if it hits 50, great. If it's more than 50, great. But if it doesn't, I'll throw in I'll throw in the additional uh, hoopla to even Ooh. it up, to round it up to 50. So beat that just, record, everybody. I just went to noshavenovember.org. Uh, yeah. And look, they have a $25 uh, donation button right there. A 50, look 100. To, so there goes a $25 donation straight to them. Look at that. Serendipity. Love it. How is that possible? I'm it's supporting wonderful. their cause. Yeah. I know. I know. No, and the the cost, BF like, hasn't shaved at all. I'm never going to shave the handlebars. I dig them too much. <laughs> yeah. that That's classic you, man. Don't get rid of them. Yeah. Then I have to change all the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, look. Also, just before we get started... I desperately need to get a video made for M4. I'm on the hook yeah, for that. Yeah, you do. He knows what it's for. I know what it's for. The universe knows what it's for. Um, I think I think maybe the best thing to do is just release that to the YouTube channel as a direct video link. <laughs> and that way it hits all the subscribers. It hits uh, M4's page. It, hits, it just damn near hits everybody at that point. Are you standing over a fan? I see I haven't figured I out how so. I want to shoot it yet. <laughs> There's so many ways I could go with it, right? Yeah. What is the or theme get, of this video? Get a leaf blower. Have your wife get yeah, a leaf blower. Yeah, give everybody a, a refresher blower. on what you're talking about real okay. quick. Okay, okay. So, uh, basically, I made 2D a bet a long time ago. I was like, hey, buddy, you need to win this thing, a siege deal, you know, on, on, a, on a contiguous basis. You need to do it back to back. We finally did it. He finally finally did it so now i'm on the hook to produce a video of myself dressed like marilyn monroe and singing oh. happy birthday to him a la marilyn monroe oh my <laughs> yeah yeah so you can about leaf imagine blower. how <laughs> a leaf blower leaf blower underneath the shirt Love that's it, it. That's it. Shit. Make sure it's right. I don't know who's he does not like that. benefiting more from this victory. <laughs> I'm not going to shave my legs either. It's just not happening. He recently pissed me off because he, uh, in my elimination game, he got everybody to vote for Rachel Ghoul, and I hate him for it because I had to eliminate him. <laughs> so tell us about that, Tootie. That's a great segue, by the way. Tell us a little bit about your, uh, your uh, Reddit challenge over there. Uh, I'm just, I saw it on a couple other Reddit pages. I'm just doing it for funsies. Um, it takes about 20 seconds out of your day to click on the link and vote for who you want to get eliminated. Um, we're doing two at a time right now. Um, we're only doing B tier characters at the moment. And I pulled the B tier image from the October tier list, I believe. Right. Um, which is strange because there are a couple characters that definitely don't belong there. Um, but, um, whatchamacallit. It's been a good start so far. I get about an average of 100 responses every day. Um, wow. And I love watching the statistics grow. I love watching my little pie graph grow because I'm always the first vote. And I always get like, yes, this one person's going to get eliminated. The whole pie chart is this guy. And then like 80 other people go on. And wow. My whole pie chart turns into a little sliver. And I've, I'm like, seen it. I've seen it. It looks like a little, like a little slivered wedge of just triangular doom. Yeah, it's Crazy. a good time. Although I am upset at, at M4 because he he what he he went to all the discords. He went to Reddit. He was like, "Everybody vote for Raish. Get him out of here. Piss Tootie <laughs> off." I'm like, "What did I ever do to you? Like, I don't have to, like compete with you on anything. Like, I'm always at your I'm not always at your streams, but I do come to your streams. Come on." Yeah, yeah. I think he's feeling a bit froggy because he finally <laughs> bested me. I think that's what it really boils down to. He's waiting for that video, man. Yeah, he's getting antsy. We're going to have to get on that. The whole community is waiting for that video. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you can see behind me, for those of you who see me on the video wall, uh, we have recently begun moving. And I won't bore you guys with any details about my personal crap, but uh, suffice to say that uh, uh, one of us was getting antsy about moving, and now we're not anymore. <laughs> so... 
It's going to okay. happen. It's just going to happen a lot slower. Gotcha. That's all. That's all. Uh, well, while, while we were talking with uh, 2D, uh, what about your other thing that you were doing with your reworks and your new character ideas? Do you want to plug that in real quick? Or, or is that over with? Reworks and new character ideas. With the angry... The... Oh, on Greifer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I um, I love that you call him angry. That's funny. Um, no, he's doing a competition right now uh, on his YouTube page. And uh, it's like a, we all submitted a kit or I submitted two because um, <clears throat> because he asked for uh, either a rework or a new tune. And I did one of each. And I sent them in, and he had like 19 people that said they were going to participate, but only six people actually submitted something. Um, <laughs> both of my kits made it to the second round, but he doesn't want it to be me versus me in the finale, so he's making the second round me versus me, so that way in the finale I'm fighting somebody else for the, the top spot. Um, Quit hitting yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I did one for Talia. I did a rework for Talia, and I did a new kit idea for Eugene Choi, which is a Shazam character. Um, and I'm super into Shazam people right now. And uh, whatchamacallit, it's a good time. I enjoyed the video. He actually does really good editing work on his YouTube videos and I don't know how he does it. Um, I have to use a phone app for all my videos. And as right. soon as that phone app like either updates or like gets deleted, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck do I do for YouTube now? Like, um, <laughs> I'll just lose my career, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's, it's a fun time. If you guys wanna check it out, go to On Greifer's YouTube channel. Nice. And I didn't know that it was pronounced On Greifer too. I probably said it all fucking wrong. It's like German. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I, I apologize to Angrifier. For all these years of calling him Angry Fire. That's what I did the same thing, right. buddy. Right, right. I'm going to own up to my fuck ups, people. Uh. So, which kid so, are yeah. you hoping wins? Talia or Eugene? Uh, I find, I think Eugene is just a more fun kit, honestly. Like, Talia's cool and all. I love her to death. Um, but the rework I did for her is fairly simple. So, um, I don't do like I don't make kits that are game changing. I, I send Reeves like kit idea suggestions all the time um, because she kind of opened the door for me when uh, I submitted a kit to her for Rachel Ghoul and they took like seventy five percent of what I wrote and included it in his rework. Um, so I'm like, well, shit, doors open. I'm gonna keep sending you shit. Get ready. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep sending these to you. <laughs> Right, just hire me. It's fine. That's awesome. Can, I can be another dev if you want. Wow. Well, so I, I've got a great idea for a kit, and I want you to introduce this to her. Okay. It's called "Come On to Atlantis After Dark," and the special <laughs> power, the superpower that you have to level up is talk to the AB. It does yeah. everything. It's <laughs> offense. That's a legendary it's point. Defense. It is. It's your legendary. <laughs> it's everything. The only one power. It's going to be stronger than any character in the game. Better than Spectre. Better than think, Spectre. Yeah, God think too. Spectre meets Barda level oh. of oh. intensity. Nobody likes that combo. No. <laughs> no, you're going to be no. on the tier list, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's the tier list, all right. But no, no. Reeves um, is a quiet one. She always, even when I send her kids, she's like, uh, Thanks, I'll give it to the team. And that's her response to 87% yeah. of everything. <laughs> um, so, I mean, she's very diplomatic in her job. I get it. And there are times when that response definitely feels like a, fuck you, Tootie, you send me shit all the time. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> oh, she's got a boy. big pile of Tootie messages printed out next to her <laughs> There's <laughs> computer. There's a stack right, of right, them. <laughs> My opinions are shit anymore. Just auto reply. Thank you. Send it to the team. Thank you. <laughs> you know, she probably does it to everybody, but I yeah. thought we had something special, Reeves. I know. I know. You'll she know it's an auto reply if you too. get a yeah. If you get a review thing afterwards, like the the help desk, <laughs> give her five <laughs> stars. Oh, oh, this is bullshit. Dear legend, <laughs> how was your experience? Right. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it was amazing. no, we we love Reeves on the show. We we only kid around, but um, 
I tell you, I think we've probably kitted around quite a bit on the on the lead into the show today. We're not going to have much of a topic today. It's just going to be us fucking around. You guys don't mind, right? People love hearing us fuck around. Never. No. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so good. We should probably get into some uh, DCL. All right. The first thing I want to bring up, and this is probably a nice little movement into uh, sort of uh, the game, but not the game, is the end of the five-year anniversary event. Now, I, I do want to express a, a little bit of concern here when I talk about this because some people really enjoyed the anniversary event and some people did not. Either way, you flip the coin, you're probably going to love this. We did a people's court bit not too long ago with all these different people's court people coming in, you know, this is the plaintiff, you know, Steve, he contends that blah, blah, blah. So this is one that we did for the five year anniversary and we had a, a special guest judge on the panel. Give it a listen. What you are witnessing is real. These people are pissed off and are demanding justice. And justice is what they'll get here in our forum, the People's Court. Welcome to the People's Court. I'm Hugh Bradstone. The litigants for our first case are on their way into the courtroom now. These are the plaintiffs, the players of DC Legends. They claim the fifth anniversary event was underwhelming compared to the fourth anniversary a year ago. They're suing for 20 rebirth crystals and some decent fucking sales. <laughs> this is the defendant, developer Steve. He claims he did his darndest to put together a few rewards and sales, but admits he doesn't think DCL would get over to a fifth anniversary and was caught off guard. He's accused of skimping on giving away digital assets and for being a twat. <laughs> Whoa, rise! Honorable Judge Jonathan Crane presiding. Welcome. Please be seated. I've seen your testimony and I've read your complaints. Ugh. Minions bring me a drink. <laughs> Judge Crane, you're not supposed to drink in the courtroom. Silence, <laughs> bailiff bonkers. Steve, these are some pretty serious allegations. <coughs> What do you have to say for yourself? I'm doing the best I can. No, nobody helps me. There's no crying in my court. There is no greater tragedy than a celebration that includes a quote-unquote sale for 30 random shards of a member of the Shazam family. Do you think you would get away with placating the Superman fanboys with a gold skin? And holding back ten rebirth crystals until a week after the event ended? I rule in favor of the plaintiff and demand Steve release twenty rebirth crystals to every player in the game. <clears throat> and throw in fifty blue rings for being guilty of twattiness. All right, as you can see, Judge Jonathan Crane ruling in favor of the DCL players. And can I get a word in with you, uh, Steve, the defendant? Uh, please, uh, can I get a word in? Uh, oh my God, yes, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm pretty sure you can't say that on television, sir. Until next time, this is Hugh Bradstone saying, if there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it right here on the People's Court. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Thanks to <laughs> Judge Jonathan Crane. Thank you very much, pal. That, that's one harsh judge. I like, I, know, the, yeah. uh, I like the reparations he has to pay out there. 
<laughs> yeah. If there Not was a problem, look. yo, I'll solve it. I know, <laughs> right? I heard that and I'm like, God, it just fits. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. On the people's court. God dang. We better be careful. Vanilla Ice might sue us for uh, stealing that song. Eh? <laughs> we said it without yeah. rhythm. We said, well, yeah, look at me. Look at us. Good Lord yeah. Almighty. So on the heels of that, I didn't mind the rewards for the fifth year anniversary. And if that's all we get, that's all we get. How do you guys feel about it? I didn't mind it. I like my gold Superman. I call him Oscar. I think he's <laughs> I think he's pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. The, uh, the rewards were decent. I just always try to tell myself that's for newer players too. It's not our sure. fault we've been playing for so long. So sure, sure. Somebody was super pumped about those Bizarro shards, you know. <laughs> it's, right. that, that that should yeah. help somebody. So I guess it it was good. It was good. Free stuff's always good. Yeah. True. I did not dislike it. Um, and I, I try and give them the benefit of the doubt because I do know that they have a skeleton crew. And um, like it kind of speaks volumes when, uh, like for December, they have to remove a rework just so that they have time to pump out some bug fixes. Um, yeah. So the fact that they did three reworks for November um, probably means they didn't have any time to do anything special. Um, they've probably been working on that Trigon model for months. Like uh, the worker shortage is a thing, and I, I'm I'm willing to bet it's affecting them too. So, like we can't really expect a whole lot. Like we I know we all want more, um, but we just have to understand that like it's it's like going to a restaurant when there's only two servers and there's sixty tables. You know, like they yeah. can't handle the volume. Like give mm -hmm. them some time to figure it out. I'm happy with my rewards. We got more rebirth tokens, and I always want rebirth tokens. So anytime they can hand me those like candy, I'm a happy boy. Yeah, you and me both. The way I'm I a little kind of sad. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm a little sad that the Superman skin didn't, like... It, it was it looked it was supposed to be kind of like the superman 1 million skin where mm -hmm. um i was hoping that his superman symbol at least would be like the yin yang oh, thing oh yeah um, mm -hmm. but they just yeah. golden and i mean it's fine but it is what yeah. it is they they red sunned him basically yeah i was going to say rights issues <laughs> exactly <laughs> that the way i keep trying to look at it though is like the past 3 months have been kind of fucking cool as yeah. far as right. this game goes so I, I'm happy in general. This whole year's been kind of awesome. Not gonna, yeah. Not gonna I have lie. to say, yeah. You know, there's been well, I, I said a couple this... stinker months, but well, yeah. I mean, you have to have stinker months in there to mm -hmm. kind of break up the monotony, right? Because you can't go full bore loony 100 percent of the time. And right. um, I'm a big fan. I said this on the last show that I think what it really boils down to is we got a slow burn to the fifth anniversary because now. Basically, all of those meta characters that were super OP now have counters. You can counter almost everyone in the game now. You know, you can use Spectre to counter Robin. You can use Robin to counter, you know, fucking Barda teams. You can, I mean, all kinds of shit out there. I do like the fact that we are getting more um, variety in those, like, God-tier level characters. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. My biggest fear is that we're still leaving, like, 60% of the roster behind. But it's not the Black Flash meta that we're used to. It's not Martian Manhunter Black right. Flash on 10 out of 10 boards, you know? Right. Um, so I am thankful for the variety that is increasing. Um, and I think Mr. Zubaz said it best a while back is like, if, as long as they keep pushing out these like God tier level kits, um, th there's only four slots on your team. So it mm -hmm. right. forces a variety because um, you can't use Spectre if you want to use, you know, X other God tier character. And so I'm happy with the direction we're moving in. I hope that 2022 continues the trend. Okay. Same here, yeah, like, like I said uh, before, uh, you guys all know Dr. Fate is like one of my favorite characters uh, in the comics. And thanks to Nightwing, I'm able to use, you know, Dr. Fate again in a normal team against others. Granted, he's not the best, but at least I get to use a tune that I've been wanting to use again without getting slaughtered. And, yeah. you know, 
So I'm enjoying that. You know, I actually Speaking have. Of, um, oh, go ahead. Go no no go ahead. Um, I used to have a team set up for Doctor Fate that included Supergirl because she spammed her. Hmm. Oh um, yeah, heal immunity. Um, yep. Like your basic, and it just allowed him to out of turn attack more often. But yes. since they removed that, then that team is no longer viable. Yeah, I I love Doctor Fate when he did his. It was an AOE instead of just a single attack. Right. Uh, um, I love that, and plus his ability when he was uh, immune to debuffs. He was the only character in the game. I mean, he was completely immune, and then they reworked him, got rid of all the cool stuff. You know. Right. Then we had the little silent little tweaks that they never mentioned where they fix some of the stuff, but you know, power <laughs> creep hit him. So super hard. Yeah. 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 He's got Speaking cool animations. Of, he, yeah. Uh, Black Speaking Adam of, movie 2022 rework. Yeah. Dr. Fate. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm there yeah, for I it. was going to say that earlier to much to duty chagrin. Dr. Crane earlier was not happy with the Shazam rewards. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't either. I went, I bought all 10 of those packs because uh, I, Mary is the last one that I need to right. get to R5. I don't have the shards for her yet. And I, I, I only got two out of 10 packs were Mary and I was wow. pissed. I was like, wow. I have all these Shazam. I have all these Freddy. Give me fucking Mary. Uh, and they were like, nah, fam, you, <laughs> we're not here. We're not oh, making you pay man. for it. are making you pay for it, bro. It's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. I'm waiting for the rework because she's bugged as hell already. It's fine. Well, now that actually brings me to a, an interesting question, and I'll throw this out at you guys. Let's say that we keep getting all these god tier characters. At some point, we're going to need these lower roster characters to be reworked to be on par with some of these legendary god tier characters. Um, who in the game? I can't think of of a character or a tune that has not had a rework yet. Have there been any characters that have not had a rework? Oh, yeah. There's quite a few. Jay Leto comes to mind right away. Joker. Jay Leto? Jay Leto. Yeah. Jay yeah. Leto was the Tonight Show host. I know. I just call him. <laughs> I know what his name is. I just call him. I, it was, it's a joke. Jay Leto. That's funny. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, no, I didn't say. I said Leto. But it was, uh, it's just a joke. I don't think I know, Wally's had a I know it's Jerry. I'm rework. Just yeah, right. Yeah, Wally's one for sure. There's a bunch of like those okay. original characters too, like Cyborg, Green Arrow. Oh, that's right. Um, Zatanna. Zatanna. They're yeah, just yeah. sitting there waiting. There's some good ones they could really rework and incorporate really well. I, I think agree. they're saving those. I don't. I don't know what they're doing either. That or they just like to piss everybody off. Is one of the two. I think right. those months though are like the most popular months. Like when Lex got reworked, um, su survival suit Lex. Like everyone was stoked even before they saw the kit because it was uh, one of the early tier characters that is finally getting a rework. And so I think they understand the hype behind it, especially like Zatanna right now. Zatanna's got a lot of hype for a rework. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they're probably going to slap us down with that and expect a cash cow out of it. I mean, they, they're, they're probably all... nervous. Yeah, Every time they maybe. do one of those older characters, Batman, Superman, they rework yeah. it, it comes out, and everybody's like, what is this bullshit? <laughs> it starts going <laughs> off on them. <laughs> out, of, out of all the originals, I mean, who were the originals that need rework besides the Arrow Brothers? Cyborg, Satana. Cyborg, yeah. Satana. Cyborg comes with um, Satana. Let me look at DCL toolkit. I'll see if I can find any more. That'll take a minute, so keep going. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. yeah. Speaking of reworks, I'd like to give a little credit to our buddy we talked about last time on the last episode, Mr. Nightwing. Everybody oh, loves Dick. Dick. Yeah. You know, that was a great episode. This past... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This past nightmare challenge, I finally finish the fucking thing <laughs> all right was, that's right and and i i think it's going to require us to have a uh rate or not rate a nightmare challenge essential update episode right and and put mr dick on there because i finished the whole entire thing with nightwing Terra, black flash and specter and it was a beautiful thing the whole fucking thing <laughs> yeah. went right through it i was like this is yeah. amazing they're Congrats, probably going to fix that now, but <laughs> well, thank you. 
I used my dick the whole thing through too. I just pushed it through, <laughs> just powered it forward, just pow, just <laughs> one after hammered another. that shit in there. Yeah, sometimes you just have to. Yeah, <laughs> thrusted your my, way to the end. My dick changed from blue to red after the fact. It was amazing. I tell you what, my dick got hard every time I got to AOE kill all four of those Azriels. Right? <laughs> oh, little pricks. Little fucking pricks. Uh, yeah. The blue just, just blue. one-shotting four Azriels at the same time. I was like, yeah! I know, right? Oh, so satisfying. Speaking of blue to red, should I buy that red, red skin? Shit, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it makes him do even more damage. <laughs> okay. I'm sold. Fuck, dude. <laughs> what a like three. It's three thousand gems, man. Look, I would say this: if you don't have the skin and you're sitting on the edge, like you're teetering, like you have two hundred and eighty shards, and you need like thirty or forty to get him up to wherever you wherever you are, I'm gonna do him a L five. Yeah. Grab the skin. That, yeah. That's what bums me out is the shards won't do anything yeah. for me. It'll just be yeah. 25 right. fucking Nightwing shards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm like a fan of like all the originals. It's like I end up getting like all the skins and then I find myself slowly reverting them back to the original <laughs> skins. I've done that on a, a number. Yeah. Except Supergirl. I, I love her. The skin that I got for her. Yeah. Her new oh, 52 yeah. skin. Yeah. I love that one. It actually Fantastic. looks really good, you know. I'm Fantastic. pretty pleased that one of my RB5s has a fun skin. Yeah. Which one's and that? Supergirl. Supergirl. Oh, oh. Fuck, RB5 in, Supergirl. In the yeah. skin they sold for Harley Quinn, Mad Jester was pretty decent too, where she had the uh, red and blue pigtails. I just didn't like it because it looks exactly like the uh, quite It does. Scene. It does. Yep, that pisses me off. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree with that. It's kind of like a... Hey, we're never gonna rework that character. So, um, just here's the skin for the other version of Harley. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite's yeah. the uh, Black Lantern Martian. Oh yeah, not, not bad. Yeah, I normally don't like Black Lantern skins because they're just not colorful. But that one looks mm -hmm. good. See, what I'm I think would be of... cool if they would come out with maybe some gender swap skins. Oh, that'd be. That'd be neat to where you can yeah. make a Superman. Well, Superman, there's already a Supergirl. I picked a terrible. <laughs> like, where, where are you going with that? Nowhere. I'm just going to stop right there. A, a model change would be nice. Like even Freddy, you know, Freddy's a kid. He, I think right. in the comics, he's generally an adult as a mm -hmm. Shazam character. That yeah. would not be a terrible fix. Um, right. There's a couple right. of things like that. Yeah. See, I wanted uh, Enza Nelson, uh, the female version of Dr. Fate. I thought that would be cool. She mm. looks identical to Dr. Fate, but, you know, it's a female. It right. just, I, I always like that. I mean, it's from the older comics, but I was just thinking it'd be kind of cool. And then there's like maybe some other versions uh, that they could throw in there. Um, the new, uh, what was it? The new Supergirl from the uh, Flashpoint movie coming out soon. Oh, yeah, her new costume. The, with the short, dark hair. I, I forget what her name is off the top of my head, though. She's a, from an, uh, another uh, reality. Right. But uh, I thought that would be a cool skin or even a whole new character if they want to throw it, like, with a Flash rework maybe or something and then have her as a new character. That would be even cool. You know, you know what I like, think? If, if, if they did this, right, and I'm not sure how feasible it would be, but you only have, like, three, four, five Batmen in the game just give me one batman and let me select the kit the same way that i would select the skin oh uh, consolidate the uh yeah basically yeah. consolidate the board i think they just need a better sorting system instead of yeah. just scrolling for like oh my that's what i'm trying to get all over there oh yeah. i hate the scroll every there's day. nothing worse than when you're scrolling and you accidentally hit battle <laughs> oh, yeah. and, even picked uh -huh. all and you like yeah. have a slot missing and you're going in yeah. 3v4 yeah. Like, what the hell? we've all you're been like, there fuck dude. it let's see if I can do it <laughs> yeah so shooting terrible. in a handicap black flash right <laughs> good god oh the story of my life <laughs> <laughs> I literally I, I'm, I put a video out the other day and I accidentally forgot about Aquaman 
so I brought impulse just to like have some extra room to maneuver and I'm like ah oh, fuck what have I done like it, it didn't hit me until I went into battle and I already used the ability and I'm like I'm a moron <laughs> I, I, I don't even want to admit how many times I've done that and I'm like stupid you yep. dumbass what, what, what are you doing <laughs> or I think yeah. I'm being clever and I pick Jay Garrick and it's oh, the yeah. same fucking result. I'm like, what, what, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I just avoid that three entirely. <laughs> so wow. bad. So we already pissed and moaned about the nightmare event. We already pissed and moaned about some of the um, skins. What do we think about this upcoming raid list that they've given us? I, I think, who is it? Uh, need to relook at it. Yeah. Oh, it's Doomsday. I think, Doomsday. Doomsday. I think it's interesting that Doomsday's on there out of five times because people have been clamoring for Doomsday to be a five time for like the past two months. Right. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen a a community outcry answered. Right. If that's what I think, it is, uh, or if they already had it planned. Connor Kent's a five X, I believe, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yep. I can't remember yeah, who the uh, other one was though. Necron, Doomsday, Necron. Connor. Okay. Right. Are the five. I'm looking for it on Reddit right now because I can't see. And I don't wonder stuff. if if Connor wouldn't be a, a great choice to throw in there on a blue day. Yeah, he would need some support like a Hippolyta or an Atrocitus. Oh but yeah. sure. Yeah, he's Absolutely. definitely getting hippo lead there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, this this list is pretty damn good. Um, a lot of people use Doomsday without him being a multiplier tune at all. They just put him alone, mm -hmm. and he ramps enough to just do massive damage to the boss. So I'm I'm excited. I mean, even then, like unless it's um, Superboy Prime or um, Trigon, the 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 old fashioned Dark Side Superwoman never fails. So true, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yep. this is a uh, villain's trials, right? So that should be a correct. Should not pretty, be pretty pretty forgiving one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm thankful. Well, who that. are the rest of the tunes on the list? Do you still have it up in front of you? Yeah. So the those are the times threes: the Connor Kent, Doomsday, and Necron. And then the times uh, are those the times five? Sorry, the times threes are Beast Boy, Hawk Girl, and Kyle White Lantern. Um. So Beast Boy would be good with all of his out of turn attacks. Hawk Girl would probably be good if she can stun the boss. Mm -hmm. And then the times twos are Nightwing, Supergirl, and Saint Walker. So, hmm. Saint Walker might actually be not bad as a leader just for the mm -hmm. extra stats and call assists. Right. It's just the if you put it on auto, he's going to use his three first, and that does nothing on, on raids. Yeah. Yeah, just waste time. That's a pretty interesting list. Yeah, it's a good list. Well, we'll see what results they yield. We I'm will. curious. I'm curious of how Necron will do as a five times against a boss with gonna, minions. He's not now, he he really isn't. I'm thinking he'll get like one good shot out of him if they take out the minions, and he gets yeah. the intelligence ups. Then he blows his load, and then he's done. <laughs> yeah, it's a very short term load. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so AOE sad. heavy damage. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm just so disappointed with him. I I was like, man, I really want him, and I was so tempted. I was just like, you know what? If he's a great character, I was just going to be like buy five packs, you know, straight out. And then I was just like, I bought two, and I was just like, he's not that good. <laughs> I was just like, I'm saving my money. <laughs> he I he has cool animations, and that was that's what got me hyped. Like I yeah. Always, yeah. The first day of the month, I always like buy the two packs just to unlock the characters and start gearing them. Sure. Um, and so, like, you get to see their animations early. And WROL does the animation videos as well. And you, you know, you see the the cool lightning. You see him like do some spinny kickflip shit, and you're like, "Damn, that looks sick! I love that." Mm -hmm. um, but then I also got tricked because the Reddit post didn't say that he was a leader. I thought that leadership was a passive, and I was like, that's sick. Yeah. Uh, and then it was like, oh, no, he's a leader. So that's, no, that's not very good, actually. If that was a passive, that would be a game changer on him completely. Mm -hmm. Great. He'd still probably be B tier. Yeah. Because of, like, 
the dooms are only a 75% chance. Um, I think the my one positive for him, other than his awesome animations, um, is his first passive, where if you have a character on your team under 50% health, you're passively applying doom to enemies mm -hmm. um, as you go. And I think that's actually a phenomenal passive. It, it definitely helps prevent those endless fights. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, without without even thinking about it, because most people are just like s swarming in buffs, and you don't even know that you're attaching dooms to them, and then all of a sudden they just die, and you're like, what? <laughs> great. Yeah. It's great. That's about the exact reaction I have when that happens. All of a sudden, the character's just like, Pop. You're like what the fuck? <laughs> right. What happened there? <laughs> yeah. I was going against a Barda team and uh, she had all those buffs on it and I didn't realize Doom was on her. Then all of a sudden, you know, she has full overheal and a ton of men's and then just all of a sudden pff, she dies. I was like, yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Vanish it's a great like a fart in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> he is a uh, very visually pleasing character though. Yeah. yeah. I agree. And when he, when he's a leader, where that leadership ability works it's a lot of fun to watch him after uh you kill an enemy how he'll attack again how he attacks after death that that's kind of neat especially when the character's low in health already all you see is a like kind of like a spark and a pop and the character disappears yeah it's really it's a real glitchy looking animation but it's cool looking i think it just doesn't sync up well with the three times or whatever maybe right it's a lot of fun to watch happen <laughs> Pairing him with Batman Who Laughs also helps out as well, because they both um, attack on death. Oh, yeah. That's super fun. Has anybody tried doing anything with him in chemo? Chemo, however. Yeah, my, my chemo is RB5 as well, and mm -hmm. like I don't really use chemo all that often just because he dies still pretty easily. Mm -hmm. like you, you need an Aquaman or an Alex or somebody to help keep him alive. But I mean, Necron does have a heal with death immunity on it. So that does help a lot. Um, mm -hmm. But a little extra survivability is nice for them. But if you could, if you could keep Kemo alive, um, that, that pair is pretty good. The dooms, mm -hmm. as long as people aren't purging off your dooms, you should, you should be fine. But with, right. with, with Terra out there, it's really hard to find a team that, you can debuff anyway. that's unprotected yeah yeah i was looking at yeah. the uh dc toolkit earlier trying to find a red that applied doom and there isn't one i was very sad <laughs> they are very selective on their debuff like the disease comps are very limited there's only like five or six mm -hmm. characters with disease doom is very limited right now um it's a, it's a hard niche to enter because WGB just isn't giving them the juice that they need. Hmm. Well, someday it, it wouldn't surprise me to see like a power rework or a buff rework to some degree. The same way you would see like a, 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 a character rework. Heal immunity? Yeah. How they fixed that a while back? Yeah, yeah, I would love to see that for Silence. Silence definitely needs some sort of like buff to it. Yeah. But... It's just a limited in rage at the moment. What did they do with heal immunity? What did I miss? It used to not prevent revives. It, um, uh, it only like prevented you from healing. Now it now it prevents revives. Gotcha. Yeah, that was a that was a smart move. It was a long time ago, and I'm mm -hmm. I wish they continued that trend, but they just never did. I think it was yeah. due to community outcry because I think, of the swamp thing rework yeah. and stuff like that. Lobo. I think mm -hmm. silence silence should stop passives. A lot of people have said that. Yeah, I'm I'm not against that at all. I I do think it's a little harder to code. Probably, it's probably gonna be incredibly buggy. Um, I thought since it's mainly used on like assassin characters that it should like reduce defense or offense as well. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Hmm. Well, because almost you know. every character with it is an assassin character. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. Never really gotten into silence. It, it it's a cool it's a cool debuff when I remember I have it. it saves your tail <laughs> here and there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found it kind of handy against Spectre, forcing him to keep using his basic. That way, he couldn't AOE or. Use a second. Exactly. Here and there. 
Exactly. It's great. What, nice. what is the difference between Enrage and Silence? You still get to select your your turn with Silence as opposed to Enrage it forces you to go with your basic? Yeah, you can't pick your target with Enrage. Yeah. Silence you can. Okay. You just gotcha. can't use any other, other abilities. It's still fun, though. I mean, I had I have Rachel Ghoul and Hush, and I used to use them to prevent, like, Arcus from getting his death immunity and taunting. Um, oh, yeah. That was, like, my main niche for it at the time, but now that uh, Terra has entered the, the field, I can't really use <laughs> Rache anymore. Yeah, it's she's kind of like the, uh, the uh, condom of DCL, if yeah. you wish. Yeah. <laughs> Wrap it up, buddy. She's a layer of protection that's kind of hard to get around. That's yep. it. I need her to uh, hopefully. protect you from disease. Right, or other yeah, things. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Yeah. And speaking of wrapping things up, I think it's about time we wrap today's episode up. Um, you know, I always take things around for the last word, and uh, this time I'll get Tootie's last word first. You go, pal. Oh man, that's that's okay. All right. Um, so I have I started listening to the podcast a a few months ago, probably like five or six months ago, I think. And I was so disappointed in myself that I hadn't started sooner. Um, it's a great. You guys are hilarious, honestly. Like the intro always catches my attention when you introduce everybody. I always like. I'm at my computer laughing my ass off um, when I, but I always watch on YouTube too. So I don't know if I'm like in your stats, of, oh, uh, sure. <laughs> but I'm absolutely grateful to be here. I'm absolutely thankful that I'm part of the Alliance. Um, like I, I enjoy the positivity that you all put into the world and I'm thankful to be a part of it. Oh, well, thank you, pal. I mean, that's, that's awesome. And by the way, we're just as happy to have you here, pal. So it is 100% mutual. By the way, come on the show anytime you want. Anytime you want. Uh, I wish I could more often. I, I'm currently working Sunday mornings, yeah. um, which is when you guys record. So. <laughs> Today I took off for raid. That didn't happen. But Oh, man. Maybe next month or January I'll take that raid off as well and I'll come on. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, look at it that way. You get a day off now. It's a free day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on, Tootie. We appreciate you. And um, we look forward to the next time you join us here on Cast. Um, Red Mess, why don't you give us your last word, buddy? Take us to church. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well, I also wanted to say thanks, Tootie, for showing up. Uh, enjoy having you here, buddy. Glad you're part of our team. Uh, it's uh, wonderful that you're here and get to share all ideas and everything with us. It's it's just a great experience overall. Um, I just wanted to make it short and simple today. Uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I know Thanksgiving has already passed, but definitely be thankful for what you have. I mean, seriously, uh, we, you know, have what we call first world problems, you know, things that truly don't matter in the scheme of things. And we always make big deals over small little things. And, you know, no matter how big of a problem you really think you have, there's someone out there that has it way, way worse than you do. So, you know, if you see someone that has a hard time and you have the ability to help try and help them out you know and then when you're feeling down on yourself you know just think yeah what 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 is really wrong you know what's wrong with me why am I feeling this way and then if you really dissect it you can most of the time see that it's not as bad as it appears we just let it control us so just try and stay positive and uh, just move forward well, thanks, uh -huh. Ratmus. Do you guys remember that uh, back in like the '90s, there was this talk show called Jerry Springer, and it was yes. like Jerry Springer's last word. We're gonna start calling this Ratmus's last <laughs> word, Cal. <laughs> Isn't Jerry Springer the guy that does all the the pregnancy tests on screen? Uh, -huh. uh I don't know if well, he's former mayor of Chicago. Thing. No, Jerry Springer is the former mayor of Chicago, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. 
I think Jerry Springer is the one that's like, okay, I'm just going to wake up and start some shit today. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, you him, are not the father. Yeah, oh, him, him and Maury would both that's do it. Maury so that's both of them did. Yeah. That's... You know what the problem with daytime TV is? It's always on in the daytime. I'm busy working. I can't watch it. <laughs> that's when they put all the really good shows on. Mm-hmm. Fuckers. That, yep. Exactly <laughs> why it's on while I'm working. Yep. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you so much, Retmus. We appreciate it, buddy. All right. Black Flash. Last word, buddy. What is it, pal? <laughs> I'm supposed to follow all that shit? <laughs> Come on, you now. You may certainly try. Uh, everybody keep playing with your dicks. <laughs> the end. Damn. <laughs> I will, gladly. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> A wordsmith if I ever heard it, sir. <laughs> Fucking play with your that, dick. That's all. That's all I got. <laughs> play with your dick. All right. Keep on playing with them dicks. Keep on playing with your dick. With and buy back the skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make sure you get the right <laughs> the right skin for your dick. You can't have it too loose. No. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Is this our condom supposed to be baggy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there goes the show, folks. Yeah, there goes the show. <laughs> All right. All right. And we want to thank all of you for taking the time to be with us today. Tickle our taints by smashing that subscribe button and get on our Discord server and get on our website atlantisafterdark.com and pick up some cool gear just in time for the holidays for Redmus for Black Flash and for the incomparable Tootie Tron we'll see you all right here next time on another fantastic voyage through Atlantis After Dark so long everybody Gathered together from the cosmic reaches of the universe. Here in this great hall of justice are the most powerful podcasters ever assembled. Supermail, Biff Man, Witty Amazon, Black Flash, Retmus, AB. Dedicated to fun entertainment, and quality podcasting everywhere. This is Atlantis After Dark. Straight from Darkside's boom tube. Double A-D.